Hey guys today we going to talk about displacement piles in Hong Kong. Before our lesson please think of one question. Which of the following is not displacement piles? To answer this question we need to understand the definition of displacement piles first. Displacement piles are normally driven into the ground by hammers or vibratory drivers. The soil is displaced as the pile is driven or jacked into the ground. Therefore it calls displacement pile. According to publication from CEDD, the displacement piles can be classified into two types. First for the large displacement piles, which include all solid pile. For example precassette concrete piles, steel or concrete tube closed at the lower end. Another types is small displacement piles, which include old steel sections. For example H piles and open-ended tubular piles. In the following section, you will see a video of pile driving operation in the field. Watch the video carefully and answer the following question. <laughs> So what are they doing in the video? Welcome back to the classroom. So after going to the site visit, how do you feel? Do you feel noisy at the site? If you think so, this will be one of the disadvantage of driven pile. Besides, here are the advantages and disadvantages of a displacement pile. For example, the vibration during piling may cause complaints from neighbors because it may affect the structural safety of their building. Apart from it, pile section may also be damaged during driving. Although there are some shortcomings for the displacement pile, it is still suitable for some situation. For example, small displacement pile can use less heavy machines than other deep foundation. Also it can be lower impact on groundwater conditions, Therefore it may also advantageous to marine structures. To conclude, constructing a displacement pile is to displace the soil laterally and compacting it into the surrounding terrain. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.